Hey guys, sup, sup, sup. My name is Rear for the Gear Council. That sound in the background is an air conditioner, just so we're clear. Welcome to Monday's Coffee Time. And Coffee Time is a discussion based video, and this week we are talking about the topic in the title below, which is sneak peeks. It's uh, something completely out of the ordinary from what I'm used to talking about. And um, I'm not going to lie here, it's 5 a.m. in the morning, so if I sound forgetful, tired, or anything like that, that's why. I've been slept yet. Yeah. So, tons of stuff um, we're going to talk about. I just want to quickly, quickly, quickly do a little bit of a channel update. I have filmed about four or five deck profiles this morning. Yes, I count 4 a.m. in the morning this morning. I basically shot them like one after another consecutively. So expect those throughout the next couple of days and a lot of them are requested or meta decks or whatever. So it's, it's a good mix of everything. And by the time this video has gone up, I will have gone to film with Mikey to film obviously for the council for IRL adults. Content work, content work, content work. Let's talk about sneak peeks. Where are they? Why do we care? Why do you enjoy them? Uh, everything. So sneak peeks are basically you go to your locals and they're hosting a sneak peek, which is you get to buy the new booster pack before it comes out, which is pretty much a week or two prior. They're not legal for tournament use, but they're legal for everything else. <laughs> uh, I just want to quickly say that you pay 20 bucks to get in and then winning the mat is dependent on your locals. I'm not sure how your locals does it or whatnot. There are some locals that do sell the packs or you can get it early and if you order it online like we have a few times then you may get it early like we have a few times and still consecutively do. So I just want to also quickly mention that the Duelist Alliance sneak peek is coming up so if you are planning on entering you have any questions we don't bite you know we try to help each other and if you're a jerk we kick you out kind of thing. Um, no. But don't be afraid to ask a question if you have a question regarding this kind of topic. So, it's covered. Duelist Alliance sneak peek promo. I'm not full, fully excited for it. Um, it is the first Pendulum promo. I should be jumping for joy at that. We all should. No, it's poop. I'm sorry. It's poop. There hasn't been a really great uh, sneak peek promo, at least in my opinion, since like broken level Tengu. We don't need something that broken, just something that's, you know, good and playable off the bat, at least in my opinion. Um, when you pay for the five packs, you do get that with it. So, that is a thing. <coughs> One thing that I wish um, that Konami did with Sneak Peeks, honestly, is have more packs available. You know, because you know people are going to want to buy this stuff. You know people are going to want to eat up your product. So it's something that, you know, you could do and also have in more places. That's something I personally want. But as I'm saying this kind of stuff, I want you guys to go down and say, you know, yeah, I wish they did this or they, I wish they did that. The other thing I want to talk about is the sneak peek prices. This means like two weeks, you know, that, that two week span of everything being new, everything's overpriced. Everything's $80. The commons are $5. Maybe 50 cents. Maybe uh, just a sneak peek promo is like $3. Everything else is like 80 freaking dollars. And I know I'm not the only one who sees that. It's constant. And it's not a rant over it. It's just part of the discussion. I think it's really silly, honestly. It is a great time to either capitalize or be milked. You do not want to be on the receiving end of that. Um, it is a moment of true, true profit. And... There are certain times where you can get cards a lot cheaper than what they should be worth because, well, people underestimate a card or, you know, it's not doing anything right now, whatever the case may be. This set here coming up in the next, what, week or two is going to bring, I believe it's about two, three weeks, is going to be bringing us three brand new decks straight out the gate and one TCG exclusive deck that I can think of off the top of my head possibly too. There's a lot to be excited for, and there's a lot to be fearful for, mainly for the overpriceness that will come from this, and that's pretty much guaranteed. Um, 
everything that's secret rare or pretty is worth 30 to 80 bucks. Everything that's ultra rare is 40 to 50. That's usually how it seems to be, at least in my opinion, how I've seen a track record anything halfway decent. But we can sit here, we can talk about prices and packs all we want, but what else does it come down to? It's the experience. The experience is like nothing else. It comes once every three months. It doesn't come once a year like Christmas or other holidays. But you know what? It, it's fun. You get to open new packs and you get to see them firsthand in first edition. It's like, if it's winning the lotto, basically. If you open great at a sneak peek, you have like the best luck ever. I know some of you definitely do. Especially, I hate saying that one dude that wears a Captain America shirt. I can't remember your username. It's like 5 in the morning. I apologize. But the one guy who wears Captain America shirt as locals and gets massively good shit. You just, oh, you're so good. When I open sneak peeks, my experiences are mixed. And usually the only reason I do the sneak peeks is because, for you guys, that that's me being straight out honest. It's not... Hey, look, Reeves opening it so he can make money back off it. It doesn't work that way. It really doesn't. Uh, it really doesn't. I'm not going into detail on that. But I usually open it for either fun or for you guys, and I probably will be skipping out. I'll, I'll be there filming everything, but I'll probably be skipping out and, like, purchasing it myself because I'm not really super amped or excited for the Duelist Alliance. It's kind of one of those things. It's like a two-month format, and it's like once like two and a half month format like once we get past july it's like you have august and september and that's it and it's going to go by really quickly and it's kind of one of those things that i know a lot of you are like yeah duelist alliance is awesome there's so many great things in it it's just going to give us a mess of problems i'm not going to sit here and complain about those mess of problems but um honestly I, I i'm trying to remember everything that's in there so it's kind of one of those situations that it comes down to whether or not it's for you. So my advice always is to, you know, if you're like, say if you're watching us or watching another YouTuber or whatever, try to find out what's coming out, what's being, you know, talked about and hidden gems. And the Dragon Princess that comes in the set, honestly, I think it's going to be the one basic big hidden gem. That everyone just kind of throws to the side because it's not Chet Doll or Centella Knights or even Yin Zing. Honestly, I think it's going to be one of those things that you probably end up picking up $10 those first couple of weeks. My antivirus is telling me that I just updated, so in case you just heard a beep, that's what you heard. <laughs> I just clicked it off. But there's going to be tons of things, you know, and I'll go over them. And I know everyone else probably will too. I am excited for the Duelist Alliance because it brings us a new pack, brings us a bunch of new toys. I'm excited for the sneak peek because, well, it's exciting. I, I'd be bullshitting if I didn't say otherwise, it really is. And we get pendulums on a full scale so Simon can get all happy that, yeah I mentioned Simon, that, <laughs> that they're getting Odd Eyes Dragon which is pretty much a pendulum searcher. We're not really getting... Too much game breaking outside of Shadal's and Telenites if you're a meta player, if you're a casual player. There's tons of stuff. You just gotta look deep for it. But here's the one thing I want to say that's always fun about Sneak Peaks is opening those packs and building a deck from it because it really allows you to think outside the box. It's kind of a draft like how Magic the Gathering has. I know not everyone is playing Magic the Gathering or played Pokemon like I have in the past, but it's basically you open a pack to build a deck from it and that's a draft. And it's exciting being able to do that, you know, and you can meet people, but be careful when you go to sneak peek as always. Be mindful of your stuff, have your bag with you. You know, these are little things little things that always go a long way. If you're bringing a trade binder with you, one person at a time, don't let them like, you know, storm you. Be assertive. That's, you know, it's all advice. I, I've i always been fine at a sneak peek, personally. I don't want you guys having a bad experience and then, like, coming to the channel and be like, man, it fucking sucks. I lost all my shit. I, I hate hearing crap like that. And it's not to call it crap, but, you know, it happens at events. And sneak peeks are events. 
So it just be mindful if you're going to sneak peek, especially if it's the first time. Don't you know? Don't be afraid to take a friend with you that you truly trust, that you've known for years, or just you know, kind of just stay to yourself. Don't be afraid. No upset. Just be confident. Um, the other thing is my advice for this, if you're going to sneak peek, especially I know it's gonna be a first. It's always a couple first timers, um, and this is mainly who I'm addressing here. If you're going for the first time eBay is your best friend if you don't have a smartphone I know not everyone does yeah it's 2014 but not everyone can afford one just saying not trying to put anyone down um, then the best bet is to basically ask just ask someone they should you know be like yeah it's like this much on eBay you know it's the talk of the town learn what people are talking about and go from there know your prices know your shit <laughs> know what you're looking for and my greatest advice is, unless you're really going to turn around and just try to win every tournament under the sun tomorrow after the day of the sink peak, don't over don't over you know pay for stuff that's going to be cheaper in a few days. That's something that you know is the biggest advice that I could always give out when it comes to sink peaks. And I just want to also take a moment before I go any further and say, if there's anything you feel I'm leaving out, add to me in the comments. That's what I'm here for. You know, that's what creates a discussion, is the topic and me giving a general feel for it. And then you guys getting involved in it in the comments because I don't sit there and just, you know, whatever, their comments, I'm going to ignore them. I read them and respond to them when I can, which is fairly often, fairly often. Just keep in mind, and it's the only time I'm going to bring this up here, that I have a preemie, you know, one of those little tiny babies that came out a little early that it's going to be here by the time the video comes up. So I have to go get her in a few hours and um, they're going to be releasing her. So that's just something to keep in mind so if I don't respond, you guys understand where I'm coming from. I don't want you to think I'm ignoring any of you or I'm mad or anything like that. You know, I, you guys, just the bomb. <laughs> I also want to take a moment and say that keep in mind we have the Duelist Alliance sneak peek, the Duelist Alliance pack, and the Duelist Alliance special edition, deluxe edition, whatever you want to call it, basically special editions got replaced by deluxe editions. So that's something to keep in mind. There's going to be a lot of this everywhere. And then we won't see it in the tins, so prices are pretty much going to be set for a while. And obviously every Wednesday, not to plug it, but every Wednesday we do cover it on stock market. Um, just trying to make sure there's anything left out I don't think there is. Make sure to go to your sneak peek early, have fun. Make sure to know where you're going and not get lost. I don't know, you know, for New York it's different for me than it is for some of you. Because for me it's just like go down two miles and there you go, you know, where you travel a lot. <laughs> but um, good luck to all of you who are entering your sneak peeks, as always, even if you're watching this after the Duelist Alliance, and for the next Challengers set or whatever you want to call it. Then good luck to you regardless. And I know it's not the Duelist Alliance, it's just Duelist Advid because freaking Konami has to change it due to, you know, things in America, you know, I'm not going into that, the whole straight Christian thing, not going into it any further than that. But, um, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe for more if you haven't. I'm a very, very tired out Radio Avalon. And um, I just want to quickly say, if you have a deck request, leave it in the comments below. Any questions or anything you want to say regarding to a sneak peek, leave it in the comments below. And if it's off topic, then please leave it in the comments below. Why did I say it three times? Because it's three times as important. <laughs> I also want to take a moment because I haven't addressed it like in a video. I want to say thank you to everyone who wished my daughter well because she was five weeks early. She's going to be home a little bit later today. I am actually filming this at 5 in the morning just for that reason. Um, she's healthy. I thank you all for, you know, the hopes and prayers and everything you guys did for me. And the wife. You know, we we thank you. She'd be here thank you, but she's, yeah, hospital. So, I just want to say thank you. And if videos don't come out on time, you know why now. And once again, thank you. Just can't say that enough. It's the greatest thing in the world. And finally, enjoy your sneak peek in about two and a half weeks. And if you guys have any, anything you want me to talk about in coffee times, this I normally don't say. 
If you have anything you want me to talk about in a discussion video, leave it in the comments below because the meta one is pretty much always set for just whatever. I have everything planned out for that. Thank you guys for the continued support. That's the last I'm saying it. And I'm going to just go catch some seeds for a few hours before I start releasing videos. Thanks for watching. Till next time, I'm Ria for the Yu-Gi-Oh! Council. Peace.